Good afternoon. I'm Julia Nealon, the author of Jig Gets Lost. And I'm here this afternoon at Annie's Book Stop, and I'm doing a little demonstration. And um, I'm going to share a little bit about my story. Um, this is an adventure story about a little dog named Jig who lives in the city. And one day he decides to go out and discover the wonderful smells of the street vendors selling all different kinds of foods. And he, he has a nice treat and then he looks around and he can't find home. But his family comes and finds him and it has a good ending. I'm just going to read a little bit to you. Jig Gets Lost by Julia Nealon, illustrated by Rachel Budd. One day, a long dog with short, short legs and tall, straight ears got lost. His name was Jig. Jig lived in the city and he loved his family. Jig decided it was time to go for a walk. Along the way, he got hungry. Jig followed the smells of the street of the food vendors. They were the people on the streets and sidewalks who sold food. First, he went up one street and down another. Jig followed the smells of all the different foods. He smells someone selling pizza. He smelled and someone else selling hamburgers. There was someone yelling, get your fresh peanuts here. And another in a bright blue truck was selling tacos. At last, Jig found a friendly food vendor who was selling hot dogs and pretzels. The nice man gave him a hot dog to eat. Jig was so happy. He wagged his tail and barked his thanks. Then he began to look around. Jig did not know any of the stores he was passing. He did not know any of the people or their pets. He could not figure out where he was or how to get back to his home. Jig went up one street and down another. At last, Jig came to a park where everyone seemed to be having fun. He felt tired from all the walking he had done. He laid down to rest near a beautiful water fountain. So you'll have to get the book and read to see the, how Jig gets back to his family.